Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. In this video, we will discuss about the nomenclature of the plain milling cutter. So let's get into this video. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and subscribe this channel and like and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge. So thank you for watching. Nomenclature of a plain milling cutter. Milling cutter is the cutting tool used in milling machine. It has cylindrical body rotates on its own axis and is provided with equally spaced teeth. High speed steel or sintered carbides are used as tool materials. A milling cutter can be considered as a built up unit of a number of single point cutting tools such that each tool of the cutter can be regarded as a single point cutting tool. This is the diagram showing the nomenclature of the plain milling cutter. The parts such as lip angle, cutting angle, relief angle, primary clearance angle, secondary clearance angle, land are defined in this video. Face or tooth. Face is the front portion of the tooth. The chip slides over the face. Land. It is the portion of the tooth which is adjacent to the cutting edge. Cutting edge. It is the only portion of the milling cutter that touches the workpiece. It is the edge formed by the face and the land. Back of tooth. It is the portion of the tooth behind the land. It slopes downwards from the land. It gives clearance to the tooth. Chip space or gash. It is the gap between the teeth. It provides space for chip flow. It is the region between the back of one tooth and the face of the next tooth. Fillet. It is the curved surface or the bottom of the gash. It joins the face of one tooth to the back of the tooth immediately ahead. Outside diameter. This is the diameter of the circle passing through the cutting edges. Root diameter. This is the diameter of the circle passing through the bottom of the fillet. Angles. Relief angle. It is the angle between the land and the cutting edge. Primary clearance angle. It is the angle between back of the tooth and the tangent to the outside circle. It is necessary to prevent the back of the tooth from rubbing against the workpiece. Secondary clearance angle. It is the angle between the sloping surface of the tooth and the tangent to the outside circle. Radial rake angle. It is the angle between the face of the tooth and the radial line passing through the cutting edge. If the face of a milling cutter lies along the radius of the cutter, it is said to have a zero rake. If the face of the cutter lies along a line on either side of the radius, it has positive rake angle or negative rake angle. If this line lies on the same side of the radius of the tooth, it pushes positive rake angle. If it lies on the opposite side of the radius of the tooth, it is negative rake angle. Lip angle. It is the angle between the land and the face of the tooth. Tool signature. For single point cutting tool, the tool angles have been standardized by the American Standard Association. The seven important elements comprises the signature of the cutting tool are stated in the following order. End rake angle, side rake angle, end relief angle, side relief angle, end cutting angle, side cutting angle and nose radius. It is usual to omit the symbols for degree and mm. For example, a tool having a signature of 10, 10, 6, 6, 8, 8, 2 will have the following angles. Back rake angle 10, side rake angle 10, end relief angle 6, side relief angle 6, end cutting edge angle 8, side cutting edge angle 8, nose radius 2. So these are all the details between details of 
nomenclature of the plain milling cutter. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and subscribe this channel for more videos and leave your valuable comment.